What's happening, y'all? It's your boy, BioSpider 3.0, keeping the action going with another figure review. Today, we're taking a look at the Pizza Spider-Man action figure from Hasbro. Now, this, um, I'm pretty sure this guy was released, like, multiple times. I think there were actually multiple releases of this guy. Um, I know there was one in the Hobgoblin Build-A-Figure wave. I think that's the, you know, version most people are familiar with. Um, I want to say it was that version where, um, yeah, I, I want to say it was the Hobgoblin Builder figure wave. There was another release where he was like on a retro card. Um, I'm not sure if that release was before or after the Hobgoblin Builder figure wave, but if I had to guess, I would say it was after. Because I say the retro card, but it's not like the um, retro card that we normally, that you would normally think of, like the 90s animated retro card. It was kind of like a white background and it looked more... Um, I guess you could say like old school comic kind of style. It was like, I don't know. Yeah, it was like, a, um, it, was a, it was a different card, but um, I know that that was one release that they had um, aside from the Hop Goblin. And then I think there was another release, don't quote me on that, but I think there was like maybe three releases of this guy, or at least using, you know, this particular uh, body style. I want to say that this body, you know, this type of Spider-Man body for this particular figure I want to say it was released in like three different versions but I could be wrong on that but definitely two different different versions for sure you know Hobgoblin Builder figure and the retro card version so here we have him today I actually got this guy from my buddy Joe shout outs to my my boy thank you Joe for hooking me up with this figure um you know that's my buddy that we um you know he and I go to uh Frank and Sons collectibles a lot and we actually just went maybe what, a couple weeks ago, a few weeks ago at this point, um, a few weekends ago, and we, um, we got there late, so we didn't have a lot of time to, like, really shop around, but, um, you know, thankfully, I was, you know, we were able to get there in a little bit of time and look around, and I actually brought my boy Izzy, too, so, you know, that was his first time being there, and, you know, we had a good time, and we were able to pick up, you know, some figures before we left, um, so that was a really cool experience, but, Anyways, uh, Joe hooked me up with this figure, not from Frankenstein's, but he just had it, I guess. And, um, you know, as soon as I saw it, I was like, yo, that's the pizza Spider-Man, but he looks kind of different. And one of the things that stood out to me was the, um, the shading on him. And, like, you can clearly see, hopefully you can see in the light right now, there's, like, some shading going on, like, you know, in, like, within his paint job and everything. And that's actually not present on the original figure. So, like, as soon as he sent me the pictures, I was like, yo, like, this actually looks badass. Because for a long time, I was kind of against getting this figure. I'm not going to lie. Like, I always, I knew the piece of Spider-Man was, like, a favorite of, like, you know, Spider-Man collectors and stuff. And I knew people really liked this figure. I didn't really have any major problems with it. I think, I actually think, like, it's one of the best uh, comic, you know, versions of Spider-Man in figure form. Like, I really like the body style overall, and, um, you know, I like the overall look of it. But I just, I don't know, I kind of was against, I guess, like, the cartoon look of it. Like, the, you know, the flat webbing lines. You can see the, the webbing is just kind of, like, painted on him. It's flat, it's not sculpted at all. And, yeah, I just didn't really, I don't know, I think that's, like, a major part of what was kind of holding me back from, you know, picking this figure up. So, you know, for a long time, I decided I wasn't going to get it, but... When Joe sent me the pictures of it and I was looking at it, I was like, you know, this actually looks really cool. And I'm guessing, I guess he was unaware, but I was, I pointed out, you know, the shading to him and I told him, I was like, yo, I think, you know, I'm not sure where you got this figure from, but whoever you got it from or, you know, whoever must have owned it previously clearly did some shading on him because that's not present on the uh, normal figure. Normal figure is just, you know, plain red and blue. There's like no shading at all. It's just a, you know, completely flat red and blue. It's like a, it's like a bright red and blue, matter of fact. And I feel like whoever did this black wash type of uh, shading on him, you know, did a pretty good job overall. And it actually, I feel like it gives the figure like a enhanced uh, aesthetic to it, honestly, that I, I like a lot. And um, I think they, they might have done it so heavy, at least in certain places, that it kind of makes the uh, colors on him look darker because I, I feel like the, the blue on him now looks actually pretty dark compared to how it normally looks and even the reds too. So, but I like it. I think, to, you know, let's, matter of fact, let's take a closer look at him. So here he is up close, right? 
And the colors now honestly kind of remind me of the amazing Spider-Man, like the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man. I feel like, you know, it really reminds me of that amazing Spider-Man 2 movie suit. If it was like, like, I feel like, you know, the inspiration for that suit would have been based off of like this type of look from the comics, if that makes sense. So you can see like there's clearly he's got some like black wash shading going through here. Like all of this was not present on the original figure. You can kind of see it like going through the blue parts on his back and, you know, through his arms, kind of like highlight some of the muscle groups, which honestly looks really, really nice. And it's uh, it's the reason that, you know, I want to do, um, you know, a, a, a black wash um, on my McFarlane Spider-Man figure, because um, I think, you know, it'll definitely enhance some of the features of that figure, which already looks amazing, but I think it'll just, you know, help those features kind of pop out more. So normally this figure comes with um, multiple sets of hands, um, a mask up like Peter Parker face. It kind of shows like, you know, Peter's um, face smiling like underneath the mask and the mask is like kind of resting on his nose. So there's like an alternate head that you could pop on and then there's a, a slice of pizza that comes with him. That's why people call him the Pizza Spider-Man. And um, so, you know, he could hold it and look like he's eating it. So um, this, you know, obviously I got him loose from Joe, so he doesn't come with, you know, any of those accessories, unfortunately, but I still really enjoy this figure. And the hands that he does have on him already, I think look really good. You know, they're just open, kind of like open finger hands, or I guess wall crawling hands, but I like them because you can honestly, you can get him into like a lot of dynamic poses with just these hands, like believe it or not, like he actually looks really dynamic with just the um, open wall crawling finger hands. So I like these a lot. So these work for me. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into play and display and then I'll show you some of the details up close. So for our play and display, that's articulation for those joining the channel new. Um, his arm, well actually we'll start with the head. Head is on a ball peg and it can look up pretty far. Here's the side view. Almost like Iron Man flight pose far, so that's pretty good. I like that a lot. Head can look down that far. It just looks really, really good. He can tuck his chin all the way in, so that's really, really nice. Nice range there. Gets a full 360 rotation, of course, on that ball peg. And you can see there's a hinge in there, right there, too, going down the neck. Full 360 rotation. He gets a little bit of leaning side to side, so that's good. So there's our head articulation. For the arms, you can raise them pretty freaking good. And he, he does have a butterfly joint, so we'll get into that, but... You know, when you utilize all of that, he can get his arm out to like a perfect 90 pretty much. So you can go higher. Oh yeah, you can actually go a lot better than 90. Especially if you get, you know, the hinge. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you get the hinge and everything kind of facing the right way, um, he can get his arm up like, like way over his head. So that's really nice. Get that shoulder up. <clears throat> get the arm back down to his sides pretty good pretty in line with his body, so that's pretty good. I'll take that. He has a bicep swivel, which seems to work pretty well. So let me, uh, here we go, here's a better view. He's got a bicep swivel in there, pretty nice, nice cut. Double jointed elbows, which look like they've been painted over because I'm pretty sure on the original figure, the pins are like red on his uh, arm. I'm pretty sure these are like bright red. But it looks like, you know, whoever had it painted over those blue pretty nicely. Seems to be a little bit darker blue than the actual blue from the figure. But it actually looks pretty good. Blends in nice. So there you go. Double jointed elbows that allow him to get better than 90. You can see he's got, <laughs> it's like he's got his hand on his face right there. So that's dope. Comes back out. Uh, let's see. Any forearm? No forearm rotation. But he does have a hinge for the hands. So those can bend in and out like that, and of course can rotate all the way around. So that's dope, nice range there. For the torso, we do have an ab crunch, which looks pretty cool, allows him to bend that far forward and that far back, and actually doesn't look too bad 
when you bend it all the way back, you know, this is pretty nicely rounded and still smooth with the sculpt, so that's pretty dope. He's got a waist twist in there, so that looks really good. Nice rotation. I mean, obviously, when you rotate it to the side, it gets a little gappy, cuts up the sculpt, but not too much you can do about that with, you know, this body type. Um, let's see, the legs can kick up pretty freaking far, better than a 90 degrees. You guys can see that. Kicking back, not great, and that, that tends to happen with this uh, particular body type. It runs into the sculpt pretty early there, so you only get about that much going back. But for the thigh, he does have an upper thigh swivel that you can clearly see where the line is at. You can rotate the thighs up there. He's got double jointed knees that allow him to basically kick his back like above his ass, so there you go. <laughs> pretty good flexible spidey range going there. Come back forward. He's got a little bit of an ankle rocker. Actually, a pretty good ankle rocker. Pretty steep ankle rocker in there. And swing his foot side to side like that. Like you broke his foot or something. And you can hinge it down that far from the side like he's on his tippy toes. So that's really good. And as far as going up, we get about that much. So that looks pretty good as well. So yeah, there you go. And then let's see out to the sides. Let's see, out to the side, not great either. It's, it's really the way these uh, legs are shaped, like the hips are kind of like wide, or not wide, but his waist is so small and the way that, you know, these uh, legs are kind of rounded at the top, they run into this part very early on, so you can't get much range, unfortunately, going out to the side. Which is really unfortunate because, you know, he's such a skinny figure, you would think that he'd be able to get his legs out to the side pretty well, but... That just isn't the case, unfortunately, with this guy. But nevertheless, still a very cool Spider-Man figure. And like I was saying, he does have a butterfly joint, so you can swing the arm forward and back pretty good, you know? Or at least decently. Back, it doesn't go back too, too far. Forwards is a little better, so you can definitely get his arms into kind of like some cross, crossed arm poses like that. He's got a little bit better range going forward than back, definitely, but there you have that. So now that we've looked at play and display, let's take a closer look at the details of this dope Spidey figure. Alright, so here he is up close. And again, this is the Pizza Spider-Man body, so this is a pretty... I, I like this body sculpt overall, like... The only thing I don't like about it is obviously how I just pointed out, you know, it kind of restricts some of his uh, articulation and his range of movement in certain, you know, certain um, directions. But um, other than that, I like, aesthetically, I like it. You know, it's a nice skinny Spider-Man. He's got that um, kind of runner's athlete body. You know, he's like kind of long and lanky or even you could, you could compare it to like a swimmer's body. So he's got a long, very long torso. He's got like... A flat, very flat stomach. You kind of just just barely see the abs coming through. The nice thing about this, you know, this figure that I have is that whoever had it, you know, with the black wash, they kind of highlighted some of those muscle groups a little bit better with the uh, wash that they did. So, you know, it's not like, I wouldn't say it's a perfect wash. Like, it's not like the cleanest or anything, but I think it's definitely a nice touch. And I appreciate, you know, the effort of whoever had this to kind of add that in because it does help highlight those uh, muscle groups a little bit better. So you got some black wash and you can see it even more in detail going through like the side over here, like his obliques and everything. They did a really nice job, I would say, doing a black wash right there, which helps to really highlight those side muscles, show how ripped he is and lean. So you can see those muscles in there and they've got some more black wash kind of going like through his hands, pretty heavy, like right here on his finger. Got some going up through his arms there. Hopefully you guys are able to see all of that. He's he's made it out of a shinier plastic, so you know, hopefully you guys aren't missing out on too many of the details, like the way the lights, you know, I've got natural light on him right now, so him being like a shinier plastic, some of the details might get lost on camera, but hopefully you guys are able to see most of the details present because they actually look pretty cool in person, I gotta say. And you can see like right here, he's got some more wash going through his arms. 
just to kind of help bring out some of those muscles. I like it, you know? I think whoever had this did a decent job for sure. And you can see some more going through the legs. Just kind of highlight those uh, calf muscles. And down like into, or not calf, but excuse me, thigh muscles and then down into the calves right here. So you can see those. You can see that black wash going through there. And you can see it's it's pretty nicely applied in certain places like right here on the sides. It definitely gives it a nice, you know, comic book feel. So I really, really appreciate that. You can see some more going up through the back of the legs, up into his butt, and into the lower back. And even like right down the middle, which is nice, of the uh, spider symbol. So you can see like the separation between each side of his back. And even coming up like into the top. And like, like you know, where the kind of like the back of the traps or whatever. And like into his neck. And even some in the back of his head. So yeah, man, I, I really like this figure, you know. <clears throat> now that I have it in hand, it's one of those things where like sometimes you see uh, reviews of a figure. And like, you know, or you see it for the first time, you think, oh, I probably wouldn't like that. You know, there's things about it that I can already tell I wouldn't like about it. So I probably won't pick it up. And then you get the actual figure in hand and you're like, you know what? This isn't that bad. Like, I actually, I think this figure is pretty dope, you know. So it just goes to show you, man, don't, don't judge a, a <laughs> can't talk, don't judge a book by its cover. Um, you know, like, I feel like most of the time figure reviews are pretty, like a pretty good way to determine, you know, if a figure is worth picking up or not, right? But, you know, sometimes having it in hand makes all the difference. And I feel like that is definitely the case with this guy because, you know, I kind of judged him, I guess, prematurely on. And I was like, you know, I don't think I'm ever going to really get this pizza Spider-Man. Unless, of course, somebody were to give it to me for free, which ended up happening. So, again, shout out to my buddy Joe. But, uh, but yeah, like, I probably wouldn't have, like, gone out and spent money on this figure. But, I mean, hey, I got it for free. So, you can't, <laughs> what can I say, right? Like can't go against that you know what I mean like I'm not gonna get a better deal so might as well and um you know Joe's always hooking me up so you know um I couldn't say no and I love Spider-Man and this I think overall this is a really great figure and especially now that I have it in hand I actually do like it a lot I've had a lot of fun posing it around and just you know having it on display I think it looks really cool so one of the last things I wanted to show you guys with this guy are some of the head swaps I also want to say really quick, I really like the classic spider symbols on this uh, figure too. I like I like this classic spider logo on the front here. I think that looks really clean and you know crisp, very nice sharp paint. They they might have had this digitally painted on, or I don't know if it was by hand. Then I gotta say that's super clean. But um, however they did it, you know it's very clean. I like the uh, the head sculpt. I like the wide eyes, the lenses. I really like those. I like that look. I like, you know, the overall spread of the webs on the mask and just like the shape of his, uh, his face. And like the shape of it honestly reminds me kind of of the, uh, Spider-Man PS4, um, Spider-Man. Like this kind of like rounded, more round head at the top and a kind of more square jawline from the sides. And even like the profile. It kind of, it, it reminds me simultaneously Simultaneously of uh, Spider-Man PS4 and The Amazing Spider-Man um, as far as like the costume goes, but I really like it. So yeah, this is a pretty cool figure. But one thing I wanted to show you guys with this guy in particular is some head swaps. So let's go ahead and see. And I've already popped his head off, so here we go. Pop the head off. I've already done this, but I wanted to show you guys just how this looks because I think he has some pretty uh, cool head swaps if you have other Spider-Man figures. So here he is with the half Spider-Man, half Peter Parker head sculpt on. And this is from the retro Peter Parker figure, of course. And I think this looks really, really good. I actually really, really like how this looks. So you can see, and obviously like the lens is kind of squinted on this one, but He's got the half Spidey face, half Peter Parker, and I really, really like how this looks on this on this body. I think it looks like really, really good. Very, very dope. So, you know, there's how he looks with that head on. You can see from the back, 
how that looks. Like, doesn't that look dope, man? Like, oh, that's perfect. Like, it's so freaking cool. So there's how he looks with that head on. And then I'll show you real quick what he looks like with the normal Peter Parker, retro Peter Parker head on. And it's still a shame that he has these glasses. I feel like I'm going to end up taking these glasses off of him because I don't know how Hasbro handled these glasses for him. I'm not a big fan of, but anyways, here's how he looks with a completely unmasked Peter Parker, retro Peter Parker head on. As I kind of lift up these goofy glasses on him so you can see his eyes underneath. There's how he looks with that. And I, I guess you could argue the head is kind of big for like the body. <laughs> his head, he kind of looks like he has a big head now, um, especially with this head on. But I still kind of like how it looks. I think it looks pretty cool. So I just want to do a quick head swap there, show you guys what that looks like. And I've even popped the Tom Holland heads on just to see what that looked like because I was curious. And so here is a Tom Holland head sculpt on this body. And I actually think it doesn't look half bad. I think you could argue the head is a little bit small, but you know, here is the Tom Holland head sculpt. And now it looks like his head, I feel like he's <laughs> his head's a little too small for the body, but I kind of, at the same time, I don't know, I kind of like it. I like how it looks overall. Kind of has like an ultimate Spider-Man type of feel to it. I still think it looks pretty cool. What do you guys think? And here's how it looks from the back. I don't think that looks half bad, you know? I think maybe the head is just like a little bit small. Maybe if it was like scaled up just a little bit more, I think it would actually look pretty, pretty solid. Kind of like how this looks. This is the weird kind of like laughing face, obviously. I could have put the, um, you know, the normal face on, but just for time's sake. I decided to pop that one on. But anyways, pop the normal head back on him. And there we go. Yeah, it has a loud uh, pop, by the way, when you pop this head back on. It like really snaps into place, so there you go. And you can see there's a little bit of a mishap by like his, uh, his left eye, like the bottom of the left eye lens. There's like, I don't know if you guys can see that on camera. How well it's going to pick up. There's like a little bit of a white spot down there at the bottom of the lens. I'll probably touch that up with just a little bit of black later on. But yeah, I really like this figure, man. I had to review it for sure. Um, so yeah, there it is, guys. So I'll just show you a few size comparisons and we'll head on out. All right. And if you're new and this is your first time watching one of my videos, please be sure to subscribe to your boy. All right. Uh, share the video, like, leave a comment, do all of that, man, because, you know, I'm <laughs> I'm a huge Spider-Man fan, you know, Spidey's my favorite hero, and um, I've just been in a big Spidey phase lately, definitely going to be reviewing <clears throat> a lot of uh, Spider-Man related figures, so, um, you know, with Across the Spider-Verse coming out, I'm just super, I'm beyond excited for that movie, guys, I can't even begin to express my excitement for it, but uh, yeah, a lot of good stuff coming to the channel, man. We're going to be talking about films, um, you know, art, music, all types of stuff, comics. So if you're new, be sure to subscribe to your boy so you don't miss out on any more dope content. And there will, of course, be more reviews such as this. But anyways, here he is with the Spider-Man 2099 figure from Hasbro. This is the first release from Hasbro. This is the... Uh, I think this was, he was part of the uh, Hobgoblin Builder Figure Wave 2, or maybe Demo Goblin, one of those. Um, but yeah, there you go. There's the two of them side by side. I think they look really good, height-wise. And the body types are very similar. In fact, I think it's the exact same body type, pretty much, between the two figures. So, there you go. See a little comparison between those two. Here he is with the McFarlane Spider-Man, of course. Our boy, the OG Holy Grail. Oh, he's kind of, he's kind of leaning here. Let's see. Okay, yeah, he's a little, <laughs> a little bit of awkward pose, but there you can see there he is with McFarlane, standing at pretty similar heights. I would say the McFarlane is just slightly taller. There you go. Here he is with Carnage from the Monster Venom Builder Figure Wave. So you can get a sense of that. 
I think they look pretty freaking dope together. So there you have that. Here he is with the spectacular Spider-Man, super posable version of the spectacular Spider-Man. I think those two look pretty dope. <clears throat> Here he is with a Lightning Collection Dino Thunder Blue Ranger. Right next to him. So there you have that. And pretty similar in ice there. I'd say the Blue Ranger is just slightly taller. And here he is with the wall sticking web Spider Man from Hasbro. All right. And last but not least, here he is with the uh, Spider Armor Mark I Hasbro, based off of the video game look, the Spider Man PS4 uh, look. <laughs> and I had him. I tried to. <laughs> I think I had him in that pose earlier, uh, trying to replicate that scene from Spider-Man Three, where he's like dancing down the street. So that's why his arms are up like that. But there you have it, guys. So that's my review, guys, on the Pizza Spider-Man. Um, incomplete. You know, basically he doesn't come with his normal accessories. But um, nevertheless, I still really like this figure. I think it's dope. I would actually highly recommend it. Like I said. You know, in the beginning, I thought I wasn't going to ever get this figure. Definitely wasn't going to pick it up on my own. But since I got it for free, you know, um, I couldn't turn it down. And I got to say, I'm very impressed and I have a lot of fun with this figure. It's definitely got a great, you know, classic Spidey feel to it. And it's a lot of fun to uh, pose around. And it's got a great aesthetic, of, um, you know, on top of that. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching my channel. Like I said, if you're new, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of that content. I just recently named and um, be sure to share the video. I really appreciate it. It goes a long way. Um, yeah, make sure you guys are taking care of yourselves. Drink plenty of water. Stay healthy out here. And I will see y'all in the next review. We've got a lot of reviews coming. So tune into all that and I'll see you next time. BioSpider3 signing out. Peace.